Hi friends, this is me Sumaya. In today's video, we will learn how you can customize the WooCommerce checkout field. Well, if you're wondering whether there is any need for you to customize your WooCommerce checkout page, here's what I have to say. You might have encountered troubles because your customers add products to their shopping cart, but they end up abandoning it. You might have tried sending more push notifications or may even have tried giving an offer but still the resistance seems to be high. I say you should try customizing the WooCommerce checkout page. A long checkout procedure can make shoppers lose their patience and it can make them leave the site without completing a purchase. This is why you need to remove unwanted fields and keep just the essential fields in your WooCommerce checkout page. So I will show you how you can customize your WooCommerce checkout page using a WordPress plugin. For this, let's choose the easiest plugin, which is Checkout Field Editor for the WooCommerce. This is a free plugin, which has 100,000 plus active installations. You can install and use it on your WooCommerce website and as well as in your WooCommerce app. Let's see how it's done. Go to your WooCommerce website dashboard and then click on the plugins option right here and then click the add new button now you can search for the plugin so let's just copy paste the name of the plugin copy paste and search for it what you see here is the official checkout field editor for WooCommerce so click on the install now button and then activate it now you can see the plugin is added to your WooCommerce store what next is you can start customizing the checkout field just as I mentioned in the beginning for this click on the WooCommerce option and then click on the checkout form What you see here is the current fields in my checkout page of my store. Let's see how these fields look on the website. This is the checkout page of my website. You see this is a long form and most of them are made mandatory. So let's remove some unnecessary fields from my checkout page. Here the company name is not really necessary, right? So let's remove it and also make this uh, email not essential. Let's remove it from being mandatory. For this, go to your WooCommerce dashboard. You can see these option here, the validation rule required field enabled says the status of each field you can see there are some validation rule for some field for example in case of state the input is only accepted if the entered text is a state name and in case of the required field if it is marked a ticked tick it says that uh, the field is mandatory and the enable option says that the field is currently added to the checkout page if it is having a tick okay just select the field which you want to edit here here uh, we want company name we want to edit the company name so just select it here and then click on the edit option corresponding to that field now uh, let's just untick this option enabled and click edit field and save changes now the uh, option like uh, now the field company name is removed from the checkout uh, page let's see how it looks in the website so let's reload it once and see uh, the company name has been removed from here 
let me show another example let's remove their nickname from the checkout page for this select it click on the edit button and then just clear this box you can clear it all if you want click on the edit field and then save changes let's go to the checkout page and reload our website now see there is no more nickname option displayed here and in case if you want to re-enable the field uh, like you want to add company name in your checkout field again just click the box and click on this enable option it's a, it is here click enable now it's enabled let's save changes and go to the website's checkout page and reload the page now we can see the company name is shown here it's not just removing the page you can also add a new uh, field to it to add a new field click on this option you can write in label for here label name here type in any label name here and then you want to enable it but it's not a mandatory so untick this option and then add click on this add new field and then save changes now let's see it the ABC option is added here this is how you can customize your WooCommerce checkout page uh, for website and also in app thanks for watching